Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles and we are working on untangling some jewelry today. We started our 21 pound box of shopgoodwill.com jewelry and there's a mass of tangles. So sometimes I take a minute and untangle things and make a separate video. I just can't move forward in the videos until things are organized and I don't wanna take all that time on my regular show and tell videos. But I did get this cool thing at the thrift store. It hangs a bunch of, you know, whatever you want to hang on it. I love the little tray at the bottom. Sorry, my wires got caught. Um, yeah, so I'm ready with my needles if I need them. Paper plate if I need that. A bag for jewelry that needs cleaned. So let's see. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you too. I have a big, big tray next to me where I lay a lot of the necklaces out this way just to get through this. So let me just bring it forward so we can all see. And then when I get a clump of tangles, I'll bring it out onto the paper towel. But for now, I'm just going to try to just put things aside quickly. And we'll look at them in detail together because I love to do that. I want everything to be a surprise. Even for me. It's thundering out. It's really dark outside. I like that. It's kind of cozy. All right, now let me see how it goes with hanging these up here on this little hanger station. I found that with my coffee cup holder that I use to hang necklaces on, that sometimes they just end up tangling as they're hanging on the, you know, the little branches of the coffee thing. So we'll see about this, how this tree thing goes, but I'm going to try it. Now, I would rather clasp this first. go. I'm being good, aren't I? I'm not looking at the, the class. I mean, if I see something glaring in my face, then of course I'm going to look at it, but otherwise I'm going to try to keep it all a surprise for us. I'm also going to try to make the sound better. The microphone's hanging right in front of me, so I've tried all kinds of things to make it better. And I hope those things are working. So far, not too bad, but as we get in here, I know there's a lot of really tangled pieces. That's so sparkly. Very sparkly. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, I do know that if I undo the clasp, it helps with untangling. And I'll do that if necessary. But to clasp and unclasp sometimes takes its toll. Oh, I got like a major tickle. I had to go get some water. Okay. Oh, that looks like an earring. love earrings but they can really cause havoc in a box of you know whole bag of jewelry come on baby oh there's a chain in the way too and it's going all the way around this wow that is all tangled okay let's undo oh my gosh i think i have another Cameo. Oh my gosh, I have to look for a minute. All right, it doesn't have an old class, but I got a real cameo in the last one. I do think it's real shell, but not going to look anymore. Oh, just a sneak peek. Because it is staring us in the face. And so is this earring. Oh my. I remember finding 
a stone like this. Yes, so I have that stone. Oh my gosh, that looks like Peridot. Okay, Sherry, you weren't gonna do this. Okay, earring aside, be a good girl. No, it's okay, I, I'm not like being legalistic about it or anything. It's just that on my channel, what I normally do is I show you just what comes out of the box, just like I'm seeing it. And I know there are other YouTubers, and I might do this in the future too, that open a box and organize everything, then they show all the jewelry, and I love that too. But for some reason, I don't know, I decided to open the jewelry and let you see it just as I am. So that's why I'm saying that I'm putting certain things aside. I'm not trying to be all crazy about it. Just trying to keep with what I'm doing in my channel right now. This is a nice dainty little chain, but it's really going around this brooch. Uh, or necklace, whatever. Oh, it is a brooch. Okay. Oh, that rain is so soothing and pretty outside. I love that. There are some very sparkly, gorgeous pieces coming out of here. Now, did somebody hook this chain? No, they did not. Okay. There we go with that. I'm really excited. I think there's a lot of vintage pieces in this box, and I am really happy about that. I am really loving vintage jewelry more and more all the time, the more I learn about it. I think I really loved it and didn't know I did before I even started with jewelry. My grandmother was a farmer. She lived next door and she didn't have a lot of jewelry. You know, she would buy a piece at Woolworths or something. But what she had, she loved. She treasured it. You know, it wasn't um, Hattie Carnegie or anything like that. No brand names. I mean, I know this now because I'm grown and I'm learning about jewelry. I just know that she treasured her brooches. I'll have to show you them sometime because I have some of them. And she just really loved her jewelry. To her, they were diamonds and rubies and that was really sweet. So I think I might have got a love for vintage jewelry back then. But I just didn't know it. Then for most of my life, I didn't, I was not a jewelry person. I mean, here I am with a jewelry channel. It's so hard to believe. But a couple of years ago, I could not have told you if something was sterling or gold or real or not or vintage or new. I mean, everybody knows a little bit what's older, but... I mean nothing. I wasn't a jewelry person. I had a couple pieces I wore all the time. And then um, my aunt gave me some jewelry maybe 30 years ago. I put it all aside. But I wanted to look into it. This has kind of got two things going on. So I took the box out along with my grandmother's pieces and I just started to research, and oh my gosh, from there, I just loved it. I learned that my aunt had given me a piece of H. Stern. It was a citrine necklace that was her daughter's in a box for 30 years. had no idea what it was, and um, that was exciting. Then I started to learn more about vintage pieces and then I started to buy blue boxes because I think I was watching Dr. Lori V, the antiques appraiser. She's fantastic. Most of you probably know who she is, but if you don't, go check her out because she's just incredible. 
was watching her and I heard about um, Goodwill blue boxes. So I bought some of those and knew nothing. I mean, every piece was a puzzle to me. I had to research it all and it took a long time to even get to where I knew a category of jewelry. Like, okay, this is older. This is a statement necklace. This is cold, so it's probably glass or a stone. All those little bits of information started to just make a little more sense every day. And that's the story, folks. I mean, so here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to lose any pendants when I'm doing this. So I think that did not have one. So I'll put that. I have to clasp it back together or it really will tangle on everything. Come on, little buddy. Okay, super. So that was a couple of years ago. That's it. I watched some great YouTubers. It really, really was um, a lot of just getting things in your hands. You could probably hear that thunder. You gotta get the pieces in your hands. You have to see them with your own eyes. You have to get a feel for what's what, and it's really fun. All right, I'm gonna have to reach back here and start hooking on these back hooks because I'm getting some good pieces out here. So far, we haven't had to use the paper plate, but. Sometimes that's a good thing when you have to put the mashed, mashed up chains on a paper plate because that could mean they didn't want to deal with it. So it could mean that they let some real gold pieces go by, which is always nice. Helps you to pay yourself back for what you spent on the boxes or whichever you did. Oh, don't get me singing Lariat. I don't even think that is a Lariat, but... Lariat is a song that Rory Rogers sings, just in case you haven't seen my other videos where I talk about how I like Rory Rogers. And there's a certain Lariat song. So. Just keeping you included. Ooh, pretty. Another pretty. Another pretty, so I will comment on this because someone was saying, there, that's better, that um, these are called enhancers, so you can clip them onto a chain. And we did find one, I think it's blue color. I have it put aside somewhere. So, and someone was wanting to buy it, but I wanted to wait to see if maybe they were a set. Sometimes they come in like a set of three and come with a chain. So maybe that's a little too close. There we go. If you're here, it's probably because you enjoy the untangling process, and I really do. And I love Rachel at Lily Works. Rachel, if you're watching, you know how I feel about you. Your channel's awesome. You are awesome. Thank you for mentioning me on your videos. On one of your videos, I think you thought I didn't like untangling. So I left in your comments, no, I do like untangling. I just put it in a separate video because I have some viewers that watch just for the relaxation of untangling and I'm gonna do it anyway I'm gonna do all the untangling anyway so why not just record it and offer a separate video and those who want to watch it enjoy and those who don't they can just skip right on to like 21 pounds episode 2 
because that will be the next video, I'm sure, of this unboxing. Wow, this must be like a multi-chain thing because it's got a lot going on. Or, I don't know, maybe it's two chains. Okay, I've got to figure this out. Uh, yeah, it is one chain. I mean, one necklace. Okay. Um, yep. Oh, goody, goody. We got it done. Goody, goody two shoes. I'm going to lay that down on that bubble wrap. I forgot to show you that whole tray. <coughs> Necklaces are all like this way laying across um, a nice thick piece of bubble wrap as I get them out of here. So, it should be fun. It should be fun when we look at those in detail. There's a little knot here. I know I'm, I'm talking about the blooming obvious. <laughs> I'm still cracking up at that comment. I mean, I do appreciate the, the um, constructive criticism. I really do. I think if you look at my response to people that have said things like that, I do appreciate it. But it's just it just struck me funny that she said, you don't have to point out every blooming detail. <laughs> I just, it's funny. I got a kick out of it. But now I'm a little conscious of pointing out the blooming details. But I, you know what? I watched a bunch of other YouTube videos in the past few days while I'm doing my work. And they do the same thing. They, they point out everything. I think you just get talking about the pieces. And it just starts to come out that way. It's not as easy as it seems. To make a video and to know what to say um, yeah so sometimes it's just a little bit different on the other side of the camera than it is on this side but I love what I'm doing love the comments please keep them coming they support the channel did you know that leaving a comment supports the channel because it kind of lets YouTube know that hey People are engaging over there, and they have something that they want to talk about. So if you like to, I would love if you left a comment. This is really a very good tangle. Because this chain needs room to untangle without hitting this piece. But when I go to untangle this knot, it's hitting this piece. I think what I'm going to do is get this part out first. Then that will give the chain more room to untie, if you know what I mean. Makes sense to me. I'm sticking to it. And then I don't want to pull on it because I don't want the other knot to get worse. Okay, now there's more room for this to untangle this way rather than hitting that piece there and not having the room to untie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? I know that you can also like I'll try it on this paper towel but you can pin this side down so it doesn't move. Let me get in the camera. I get so involved in what I'm doing, but sometimes I don't realize I'm not actually in the camera. There we go. So you can pin it down and you can just kind of see if it'll loosen up on you. This is a very tangly type of chain. And 
sometimes it's just easier to get it out with the fingers. Come on, sweetie pie. Now my little needle came out. All right, you go over there. I don't want to spend too much time on one thing because we've got a pile to do. But I'm going to have to undo it anyway at some point. Come on, little darling. Oh, I think I got it. I was just about to put it aside. Yay, we got it. Now, another tip. Clasp your necklace as close to the end of the extension as you can because that helps too. The little extender, if it's dangling around, it can really uh, cause more trouble. tiny piece of something. I love that little tray that's under all those little hanging display arms because it's holding all the little bits that I find. Put that on my tray. Better hang this tiny one up over there. Cats are fed, so they're not going to photobomb me. At least I don't think so. And I'm just sitting here in a thunderstorm untangling jewelry. How much better can it get? I did pull out a bunch of earrings around the perimeter because I knew I would have had to spend a lot of time doing it right now. And then, oh, put them all on little cards. I love earrings and all that, but it was just such fiddly work. It took so long last night, but got it out of the way. And then I'll show you the earrings. A lot of them with just one earring, so I bet the other one is somewhere. Look, as I say that, here's one of them. A lot of them are somewhere in here. There's one. Recognize that one. Okay, that's cool. Came right out. I think when I reach my hand in front of the microphone, it probably blocks the sound a little bit, so... I'll have to stop the video and just listen and see if there's a little bit too much variation in the voice. Um, if so, I'll have to move it around. But if you know of a good microphone to use, I just bought one of those little clip-on ones. Clipped it on my shirt. And that didn't work because it was like down, you know, under my chin. People were still saying it wasn't loud enough, so... Now I clip it on my light that's out in front of me. Hope that works. All right, let's see. I don't want the bag in the picture now. Let's try to just get jewelry over here. Just beautiful jewels. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, you know what, too? Always forgetting to do my thumbnail picture in my Tango video. I think I'll stop and take a picture of this so I can put it on. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. So I can put it right on the front of the video and <laughs> it will show true what it really is. Yay, so I got my thumbnail video done. I'm very happy about that. I think it'll come out nice and sure will give the idea. Okay, so now I know that we have earrings to match this. Oh no. All right, well, that's okay. We're going to just keep going and see what happens. But we did find the earrings to that in the first 
um, 21 pound jewelry unboxing episode one video. And I already got a couple of people asking about it, about them. But, um, yeah, I haven't priced them yet. I don't know what they are. Now I just saw the necklace that matches, and that's wonderful. And hopefully we'll have the stone that's in there. Caught right in my ring. All right, now, like I said, I hesitate to undo the clasp because I don't want to lose any of the pendants. Okay, that's good. I'm going to move this whole tray thing to the side. That way I don't have to reach in front of the camera. So, oh, sorry about the noise. These things will cause a tangle. Any kind of bigger pieces like that, obviously. Oops. Sorry there, buddy. Bracelet. That is a necklace. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to share another YouTuber with you all. Have any of you watched Chit Chat with Granny Pat? She is so adorable. If you have not seen her, please go check her out. She's a, such an interesting woman. She tells stories on her videos. She's so natural. She's a little bit Southern, I think. And I just have been enjoying her so much. She's very endearing. You will fall in love with her, but it's called Chit Chat with Granny Pat. Let me know if you go check her out because she's so cute. I wouldn't even mind if you told her that Blessed Bobbles sent you because it's fun to know that other YouTubers are um, acknowledging you and mentioning you. I know I really get excited when I hear someone mention my channel on theirs and I do try to mention other people as much as I can which reminds me of another channel that I love called Vintage Variety and she's very sweet she has certain collections of jewelry and she teaches things about things as she's showing her collections She's talking about the differences in them, and I learn a lot from her. So if you haven't checked out Vintage Variety, she's a good one, too. There's so many good ones, so many. I think I'd be here all day mentioning them. And of course, um, Texas Gal... I think I learned more from her, from Margaret on Texas Gal than, well, I can't say learn more from her than anyone because that says I didn't learn as much from others, but I learned a lot from her. I'm still learning from her. Love her so much. She's a homeschool mom and I homeschooled my three boys as well. And Rachel at Louie Works Homeschools. I've seen that quite a few times with people with a channel. That's really nice to see. My boys were spread apart in age, so I've been a homeschooler for the last over 30 years in total for my three boys. And my oldest boy right now is 
about to get his diploma. So I really love that. It's probably, the, you know, one of the best things I ever did was homeschool. There's so much um, misconception about it, or there was before COVID, actually. Then there became a lot more understanding about homeschooling. A lot more people looked into it. And I'm just so happy about that. We had a marvelous time. And that's a big reason why I did eBay, too, because it helped me to make an income and stay home with the kids and homeschool and all that. So I started eBay a lot of years ago, 23 years ago. Not with jewelry, though. Started with, you're going to laugh, video games. I lived in Florida, and the thrift stores are just awesome in Florida. So I would go around and look for, like, older Nintendo games. Just like jewelry. The more I found them, the more I learned what they were. And then I started to sell the, the game systems as well. And I supported myself, and at that time, my two boys on video games on eBay. Gosh, that was before we even could put a picture up on there. So this one might have to go on our paper plate. But it's not too bad. No, okay. Paper plate piece. So I did that for several years, full time, selling and homeschooling. Then I made a wonderful homeschool friend named Reggie. Reggie, if you're watching, love you so much. And she loved vintage china. So we would go to the thrift stores together. And I started to get an eye for vintage china. Fell in love. And just started to pick up some pieces. Just like with jewelry, learning a piece at a time. I learned about vintage china, and I sold that for many years. Collectibles, antique crystal. I still have a beautiful collection of antique cut glass crystal, and maybe I'll share my Pyrex collection with you all someday. It's, it's really nice. You know, Pyrex glass cookware. So that's a little bit of the story. Of the eBay story, anyway. Okay, now this is pretty chunky. I wouldn't mind seeing if this is a real bead ball. Because you guys know about my bead ball bracelets and how. I really got into wearing those. And I've been looking for a bead ball brace necklace. It does say 925. It is like choker size. That's so exciting for me. I think it says 925 there. Oh, I don't know about a choker, but we'll have to see. That's fun. Yeah, I just fell in love with the bead ball bracelets, like this one. And then I saw a little bit bigger one and bought that. My little bit smaller one is over here. This, I don't know, I think I just whacked my arm into the corner of the wall or something, so. So I started with the bead ball bracelets and they're beautiful. Oh my goodness, tell me that's a cat. Oh, you are so cute. Off you go, kitty. We'll look at you close another day. Not seeing a lot of 
makers marks or names but then again I'm going kind of quickly so we shall see you know what I don't think this tangle is going to be as bad as I thought which is wonderful and for me I get to get the jewelry in you know, more organized. I just have to be organized with it. Can't deal when it's way too much like this, so. I've seen a lot of butterflies in this box. Maybe someone donated all their butterfly collections. I think I'm going to put the longer pieces on that tray because the long necklaces end up hanging down and they're hitting that tray and they're bumping into the things I have on the tray. So, sounds like a plan to me. I think I might even lay a piece of bubble wrap. That's what I'm going to do. So all the necklaces are layered on that tray on a piece of bubble wrap. But I've reached like from one end to the other on the tray. So I'm going to lay another sheet of bubble wrap and then start to lay the necklaces and jewelry on that. You know what I mean? So it'll keep them from tangling again. And I hope that gives you some ideas. And if you have ideas, I always love to know how you do things. If there's a better way or just, you know, what you enjoy when you're untangling. When I first started with the jewelry, I was so surprised that people liked untangling videos I'm like wow people really watch an untangle video but then there I was watching it myself so like yeah you're enjoying it other people like it too I got a bunch of these I just have to stop a minute because there's like 12 it's kind of fun to do the impossible. It's kind of fun to do the impossible and there's a like a barcode in there. Don't know but there's a bunch of them. Okay how are we doing? We're focused? This is easy today because I'm staying in one like depth of video. I'm not having to refocus. Love it, love it, love it. So much more relaxing. Oh, that's a brooch. All right, I think we have to look at that. I mean, how can you not? Looks like a maybe marcasite gondola or something. Pretty. Let's take a minute. You marked? I don't see any marks on it. But it's cool. It is Marcusites. Okay, we'll just have to see what happens with that. This is an earring. Yep. Okay, I love that I'm seeing a lot of spring ring clasps because that means vintage usually. Wow, oh, that, and you know what too? I've never had a bag or box of jewelry where the clasps aren't all clasps and a lot of them are undone in this pile. I find that very interesting. And I find this interesting too. I'm gonna have to see what this is.
nothing on the clasp. It is marked here. Avon. Oh, that's so pretty. So, see what I mean? That's a spring ring clasp. That's an older clasp. And over on my little arm hangy display thing, there are a lot of spring ring necklaces. Time for me to get a hand wipe. Okay, all set with that. Back to business. Oh, that's a gorgeous rhinestone-y kind of piece. Can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see this necklace. Oh, it's got a safety chain with it. That usually means it's something nice. Oh, so hard to put that aside. But it's okay. We'll get to it in time. Let's get this big pendant out because I think it's catching on things. Okay, does anyone know about this type of clasp? I don't understand them. You like slip one into the other or something. Please write to me, email me, or <laughs> put in the comments how in the world you do those kind of clasps because don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out with this piece. Maybe I won't. All right, see? It's like a bracelet kind of thing. Like, that can't be it. But that's what you do. I'm sorry. I've learned a lot of things. I've come a long way with jewelry, but I'm just totally ignorant of that one. So... I will be looking in the comments the minute I post this video because I'll be dying to know how to do that, how to work that clasp. There's so much to know with jewelry. I had someone comment about pearls and I think they were concerned that I was saying something was a real pearl. Um, but I do try to let everyone know that I'm not an expert and there's so much to know about pearls that unless you really go to a jeweler, you're not going to exactly know what you have. So I did explain that to her. I'm sure she knows. I think her point was that there are pearls that are covered in, I think, ground up fish something. Ground up something, they make pearls that way. Other pearls are fresh water, other pearls are salt water. And I really have watched a lot of videos on pearls. To me, they're one of the most difficult things to learn. And they're very beautiful and interesting. So I just do the best I can. It's obvious what is a um, faux pearl because they're very slippery, not very slippery, but they're not, they're not gritty when you gently rub them together, the faux pearls, but the real pearls are more gritty when you gently, very gently rub them together. You can tell a little bit by the drill hole in a pearl. Dr. Lori talks about pearls has some great info on her channel. They are very fascinating and because there's so many varieties, that's one of those parts of jewelry that's difficult to learn, for me anyway. So we can know what's a quote-unquote real pearl and what isn't real. But all the other details aren't as easy. 
Plus, as we're unboxing, for the YouTubers like me who do these unboxings, we are getting every kind of jewelry from every era, every material. It's a lot of stuff to make a call on, you know, to say this is this and this is that. It's a lot. We're not just sticking to one type of jewelry in these unboxings. We're getting a little bit of everything in the world. So, the people that specialize in certain areas, I love that too. We can learn from them. But for me, I'm still pretty new at this. I'm learning as I go, piece by piece. And aren't you a pretty piece? Wow. Very pretty. That's called a wide drop. Oh, that's gorge. Okay. We're whisking you off. And we will see you later. How are we doing? Focus good. So I have asked on several of my videos if you know the type of camera that YouTubers use for, this is called um, top view video. See, what I'm doing is like from the top down. So top down videos, there's a certain camera. Um, I think, um, I'm trying to think of the brands. There's a certain camera that will focus. It will. It knows how to choose what's best to focus on. That's what I would love to get. Because then I can be doing something down here, bring it up here, and it'll focus for me. Whereas my iPhone won't do that. I have to adjust it each time. Don't know when I can afford those other cameras, but I would love to get one. But there's several kinds. I watched several videos on them. And it just got more confusing. Because the guy's like, well, you could get this video for this, but it doesn't, it's not the best with that. And maybe someone here watching is a YouTube channel yourself. And you know the type of camera that I'm thinking of or which one would be best. I would so adore you if you'd help me with that and share it with me. Otherwise, I might just go to like a um, computer store or Best Buy or something and just tell them what I do and ask them what they think. That's another way I could do it. Now, I think I saw a necklace that goes with this. It's kind of like stones are glued on the portions of the bracelet. It's pretty. We have a lot to look forward to in this box, don't we? And by the way, this is only the first bag. There's two bags. Each bag is over 10 pounds. And the next bag is, I think it's a lot more like gemstones and things. Not so many little chains. Not as much metallic. That's what I want to say. So we have so much to look forward to in this 21 pound series. And I know I've said it before, but it's worth saying again that it's, you know, if you have a phone and you have a passion for unboxing and sharing that experience with others, make a video. Put it out there. See what happens. 
you never know. It's kind of like this untangling video where I figured I'm going to be sitting here doing this anyway. Let me back up a little. My first YouTube video is a lot like this untangling video in the sense that I thought I'm going to be sitting here unboxing this jewelry anyway. So why not get my phone, record it, and just see what happens. I didn't know if anyone would watch at all. And people started watching and they liked it. Not everyone loves every style. But it's really changed my life in some very good ways. The channel and the success it's having. I'm just so excited about it. Never thought I would grow to 3,000 subscribers already. And let's see, I started in March 2023, and it's July 4th today. So it's almost March, April, May, June, July. It's almost four months, and that's amazing to me. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to every person that's given my channel a chance. I'm grateful to the people that enjoy it and have encouraged me along the way. I'm just very, very grateful to do something I'm enjoying and share it with other people and they like it. And I also find jewelry, the jewelry community to be some of the kindest people that I've met. Very, very kind and loving. Which really helps when you're a brand new YouTuber and you're not sure and even not sure about a lot of the jewelry. It's, it helps to be in a community that's so sweet and forgiving, but also has enough people to tell you the truth when you need to hear it about certain things. And sometimes there were, and there are people that leave comments that aren't that nice, but that's with everything, I think. Okay, this heart pendant is looking sterling to me. Um, I don't want to lose the pendants, so I'm trying to avoid opening the clasps. All right, let me see. Let's try to get this, this one out. Because I think those, you know, those kind of links are really catching everything. I think we're safe to undo this one. Yes, okay, got that. That does have a, oh, Chico's. It's a Chico's. Gotta do a wipey again. The metallics will do that to your hands. So it's good to have something next to you all the time. Okay. I think we're getting there. I think we're almost down to the wire. Sometimes you can kind of roll it like this, but don't bend it. Just roll it a little and it will loosen it. So that's going to go onto my paper plate because I think that's going to need the little needle things to help. And I think it's safe to unclasp this one. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, this hasn't been too bad at all. And I didn't think it would be because I paid up for this box and it's 
pretty nice. And when the jewelry is nice, the um, people usually took care of it and they're not just throwing everything in a box. Let's see. This looks like it says something. It says Japan. So these aren't anything to just, you know, toss out. It's a vintage chain from Japan on a spring ring. And yeah, they're nice. They're very nice. Love the vintage. Seeing some of the second earrings. Uh, I wonder what that goes to. Let's see, I better put it on my tray. Okay, that's the other earring. Let's get this string out of here. This is probably not helping at all. So here's our pendant. This is a little tiny spring ring as well. I always think that these corded necklaces are all very modern, but not this one. Looks like it was a bit older. Sometimes hard to get those little rings open. I remember when the lobster clasp came out, or at least when my mom was talking about it. And she thought any piece of jewelry that had a lobster clasp was, she just thought it was nice, thought it was very cool. So she grew up in the 30s and 40s, and I'm sure she saw jewelry change throughout the days and ages. Not that she was much of a jewelry person, but she would always comment about, it has a lobster clasp, like it was really cool. I think that's amazing. How much has changed and all these new inventions and pieces that we can kind of date the jewelry with. I mean, every piece has a different factor when we're trying to figure out what it is, but certainly a lobster clasp or a spring ring or a hook clasp, they tell us another piece of the story. Let's see, I'm putting this at the end so it doesn't tangle up again. Wow, I think I'm looking at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so at least over a hundred necklaces. Okay, do you have a pendant? This might be our best bet to just zoom out and Just kind of spread things out. Maybe we'll get it that way. Then I'll see what else is in that bag quickly. Put them all in like a, I don't know, in a way that I can get to them in my next episodes. Without them tangling again. Bracelet, clasp you up so you don't keep snagging. This guy, hmm, yeah. This is probably the worst of the tangles right here. So let me keep working on the outer edges. <coughs> oh, I see a coin pearl. That's gorgeous. So relaxing. I really love this.
sometimes that chit chat with Granny Pat, she'll do a little cooking episode where she's making something. She's adorable. I love her. I miss my mom, so I think it helps with that, you know, to watch her. She has thousands of people saying they want her to be their their grandma. She's just cute. And I was watching her videos about a week ago, <laughs> and she said, and I'm making money now. Can you believe that, she said. I think her daughter had figured out how to monetize her. I was like, yes, that's so exciting. She's in her 80s, and she never thought she would be able to... Well, she never thought she'd be making YouTube videos or making money at it. I just thought that was such a blessing to hear. Totally interesting life. I'm not even going to spoil any of it and tell you. you got to see for yourself. She has some books on Amazon, too. Wrote a couple books, and super interesting. Okay, I don't want to lose the pendant, so how do I do this? Let's pull this through here. This through here. Mm -hmm. That's good. Maybe I can come in a little bit so you can see. I'm just feeding this chain through here. Oh, I got the other side. Okay, good. Oh, and look at that. See, I didn't want to lose the pendant, and I didn't. There's a beautiful little cross on it. So that's a beautiful sparkly cross necklace. Glad we got that one out. This is undone, so that looks like a nice box chain that might be like sterling or something. Let's try to follow that one through. <laughs> I hope you can hear that thunder. That would be so cool on my video. It's like the ultimate relaxing, untangling jewelry and listening to the thunder. <laughs> like I couldn't have staged it better. Okay, are you what is holding this box clasp? You are. I just had a feeling. Oh, it's so pretty. Come on, sweetie pie. I want to see what you are. Looks like a nice long piece because this is coming from way over there as I pull on it. Whoops, I lost it now. Okay, here we go. This is it, all right. Oh, it's got a little loop on that end. And lots of things tangled around this end. Do we need to get the plate out for you? What is this? Is this another? That is the clasp. Okay. I 
All right, so we might have to back up here and go ahead and get this one undone. This gold tone, where is the clasp for that gold tone? Gosh, it's like going back and back and back in a maze. Okay, this. Try not to use my nails to open them because then they end up breaking. But I'm going to have to. Okay. Let's see if we can get that one out. Yeah, I think when you get down to these little tiny, tiny chains, these thin ones, that's when it gets tangled. And my guess is that this was a tangle when they put it in the bag because it doesn't look like something that just happened in shipping. I like how they they layer the jewelry and they they tape the bag very tightly, which keeps it from moving around. So I think this was something that was already tangled. All right, we're back to this piece. And we got it. Yes, we got it. Okay, I do want to look at it. It's got a beautiful red stone in the middle. Worked so hard to get it out. And this is the one that I saw the little letters on the the clasp. So let's take a peek. Nine two five Italy. And then an A and a G like George. That might be the area in Italy that it was made. 925 on the spring ring again. A lot of times it'll be marked 925 again on this part. Okay, so we have a sterling silver box chain and a beautiful heart pendant that's not looking sterling, are you? I don't think the pendant is sterling, but I'll have to look closer. Doesn't mean it's not beautiful, that's what I say. So this is what I like to do for this. I'm reaching around for one of my little tags. And can't find one. Okay, I got my little taggy things. What I like to do is, oops, 925. I've already taken the time to look at the clasp. I don't want to have to do it again. So I put my little sticky tags on there. And I know that that chain is 925. I don't know about you, but I don't want to do things over and over. And by the way, I do have an Amazon affiliate link. Someone asked me where I got those little sticky tags. And I said I got them on Amazon. And they encouraged me to have a Amazon affiliate link where if people are watching the videos and they're like, hey, I'd like to get some of those, you can get them anywhere. I'm not sure how much Amazon gives you or gives me if you bought the ones in my video description that I've linked it to, but you're welcome to if you'd like. Okay, this is a nice Another one that's not clasped, which is amazing. Just, they're usually all clasped. And now I know why. I used to wonder why is everything all clasped? 
because if not, it loses the pendant. Okay. We are really almost done. What would make the most sense here? How about we don't lose what's on this one? So we follow it through. It's a box chain. It might be too late because I'm not seeing anything on it. But we'll try. Okay, there's that end. This end. Is that the same? It's not a major deal if the pendants fall off, but I'd rather just know what's already been on them. Yeah, this, this is just not having a pendant on it. I'd rather know than to have to match them up. So if it's not a big deal, I'd rather keep it the same. Okay, this one is undone, so we might as well follow that through. Hi, Bolti. You can't jump up here. Mommy's just saying hi to you. Doesn't mean come up here. This feels heavy, but I'm not seeing any marks on it. It's got some good weight to it, though. I think I'll just look at it because it's heavy. Yeah, I don't see anything, but it's nice quality. <clears throat> it's a pretty gold tone color. Like an antiqued look. It's got a little tag here. Let's see what that says. Sarah Coventry, nice. Still thundering a little bit, but it's it's getting further off. Just can't hear it as much, but I can't wait to re-watch the video and see if that loud thunderclap came through. That'll be really nice. Okay, Sarah Cub. That's a beautiful chain. Gorgeous. So happy I found that little necklace hanging thing. It's working out really good. Just when they're too long, though, I can't put them on there because they're hitting the tray. Okay, can we follow you without losing your pendant? Let's just follow this one with its pendant right on. Okay, oh good, we can take this clasp off and pull this guy right out, I think. It's that thicker snake type chain. Um, we're in this together. Oh, that's sweet. Is this sterling? Let's take a peek. Not seeing a mark. It's probably nicely plated. You can always, yeah, let's use the magnet. Now the magnet will always catch with the clasp itself because there's a spring ring in it. But in this case, it's clasped, it's sticking right here. But don't always let that be your reason for assuming something isn't sterling. Because if someone had this necklace and they took it to a jeweler or they just replaced that little ring and they didn't use silver, then that could be one of the factors. I'm not saying that's the factor here, 
but it's a good example to be able to use when um, just trying to share some tips on how to separate precious metals from others and using the magnet because in the spring loaded clasps they don't use precious metal for that spring they need that spring to be very very strong precious metals are soft so the spring in the clasp will always gravitate to the magnet so if you have a piece of jewelry and it sticks to the magnet at the at the clasp that's okay it's supposed to this looks like it has a mark and with that little circle it's just like why would that circle be there and it does have a mark it says CW so it must be the maker so I think it's a Hysterical that I went through this little, you know, not a lot of trouble, but I went through a little bit of not taking these apart to keep the pendants on them, but there's really not that many pendants. That's okay. I had a great time anyway. This looks like a beautiful little crystal of some kind. Oh my gosh. You see that sparkling gorgeousness? That's so beautiful. It's on a lobster class. We gotta get that knot out. I would venture to say that's like a really good Swarovski crystal or something. Or something. So stay tuned because we will get Miss Prissy out and we will test that beautiful stone to see what we got on our unboxing next episode or one of the episodes to come I can't say exactly when I'll get to it but okay so I have been thinking maybe one of the links in this necklace is broken and I think we're down to the wire enough to say it is so it looks like a three chain necklace um, no sense in me untangling it because it's broken anyway, but coin pearls sell very well. They're gorgeous, so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with that because it's a beautiful coin pearl. And maybe some of you that know much more about pearls and gemstones can write in the comments and say why coin pearls are so much more expensive. Are they more rare? Are they harder to make? Um, do share. I would love to know. And it's not just me. It's it's the community. The people read the comments a lot, and they learn a lot from what we all share with each other. So this looks very Stella and Dot to me, but we'll find out in the future. Okay. This big boy aside, I've got some rings and some earrings, bracelets, oh, pretty brooch, can't wait to look at you, bracelets, little thingies, okay, I think I can probably safely say that we have the chains out enough that we can, you know what I'd love to know? If that one gem is here for that necklace. Ooh, that ring looks nice. That ring looks nice. Maybe we'll take a minute to look at some of those rings just for the fun of it. It's gonna have some fun too. I mean, as far as looking at jewelry fun. Wow. So I found one of these before. I'm really glad I found the other one because I'm just in awe of it. It is vintage. I had to clean the other one up. I'm going to go grab okay, it. Okay, so I went and found that other earring. And 
this is it. And it's absolutely loaded, just encrusted with crystals. I mean, prong set, open back. See how there's a little, like a hole in the back to let the light through on each stone? So these are fascinating. This one's a little cleaned up. Big giant pearl on it. Look how many crystals are on this. I've never seen anything like this with that many crystals or whatever they are. And with it being an open back like that. I cleaned it up to see if I could see any marks inside and I'm not seeing anything. But now that we found the second one, you can see it's not as clean. See? Turn this one over for the difference. But they still sparkle even when they're not super clean. So I'm going to take a look. I mean, they're really giving some nice fire. I don't know why anyone would make jewelry with open back unless it was diamonds, but it's a lot of diamonds. Let me see if I see any mark in this one because these are a mystery to me, and I want to share that mystery as I'm getting info about it. Just not seeing any mark on this. And you have to look everywhere. On the post, on the side. I have found the most tiny marks in the craziest places. But it takes a lot of time to really, really, really keep looking. And with all these stones in here, I just don't know. I mean, that is loaded, loaded with stones and open back. So let's, let's see if they magnet. They don't magnet at all. They're not marked. Wow. Well, maybe I'll do a Google search and see. The stones are so tiny, I don't think I'll get a reading on whether they're diamonds or not, but I would think if they were diamonds, why would there be that many? That's a ton, and it should glaringly say like 14 carat or something. But you never know. Maybe they're just really well made. There, There's a lot of jewelry that made pieces that looked very expensive and they certainly are looking expensive. So let me know what you think and I'll keep looking into these. Now as far as what's left, I did see a couple things that maybe are sterling. So let's see what we got. It's a very pretty locket. We'll use our magnet first. And it magnets to the spring on the top because that's not sterling, but let's see if it magnets to this part. No, it doesn't. Let's see if it's marked inside. Mm. Not seeing a mark there. It needs to be cleaned, I think. If I'm going to see anything, I'll have to clean this one up, so. I was hoping to share that with you, but it's going to take a little time, and I don't want to drag this on. So we'll see about that one. This is adjustable, which doesn't mean it's not um, silver, which I have found out. That a lot of vintage rings that were made in real metals were adjustable. Which to me is like the ultimate thing, a ring that's adjustable because then you can keep adjusting it as you wear it. Interesting, but I don't see anything. It's very interesting. So that's cool. It's a pretty ring here. Very thin band. Let's see if I see any marks on it, just so we can go out with a little bit of fun. See if I found anything. Oh, the band is so thin. It's hard to see, but not really seeing anything. 
doesn't magnet it is pretty maybe we'll test I don't know we'll see this guy looks marked and it says 925 so that's cool what are you dolphins oh cute just adorable little dolphins are all jumping through the water nice different colors now would that be abalone that's really colorful abalone if it is oh my gosh that's gorgeous okay okay but wait a minute look what just happened let me see if it does that here all right so this part isn't sterling we know that maybe the clasp is we'll have to check that doesn't look like original clasp for this so it could be that someone put that on right magnet is so helpful what are you looks like a lighthouse kind of thing um not sure We'll see about oh this is so beautiful what are you it looks kind of oh my gosh this is beautiful it looks gold over silver and it is marked it says Italy it says 925 but it also has a, a star, an AR, which I think is the region, and 642, which tells like what area in Italy and who the maker, wow. This is beautiful, it's, so it's gold over sterling, it's a vermeil. Oh my gosh, I am in love. Are you kidding me right now? I'm taking my ring off to put this all my oh my gosh just stop just you stop it right now i can't even stand it this is so beautiful and it's really soft it's so soft i think i could wear that like it doesn't feel like it would move around and fall okay i'm not going to go all like taking too much of your time I'm so excited, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. I am absolutely, totally head over heels in love. I'm gonna be staring at that for the rest of the night. This is marked silver filled. I've never seen a silver filled ring. Isn't that different? Silver filled. Very pretty stone. We'll test that with Miss Prissy in another video. But that's what it says, silver filled. Hmm. We have a kitty cat. Just meow. Smart, sweet. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and it is marked. CW. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who that maker is. I do know, like, if I have to look it up and find it, I can. But not seeing anything about it being sterling. We could maybe test that. This is beautiful. Looks gold to me. Or 120th or something. And it is. It's called Regal. R-E-G-E-L. 120th. 12 karat gold filled. That's a gorgeous brooch so marvelous this looks sterling but it's not looks like it's a piece of something we already talked about that and here's our necklace that we saw but I wasn't sure about the pendant and it does magnet so we know this one's a sterling chain not a sterling pendant what I did too when I went to get the earring was I took a minute to take the magnet to all the chains that I have hanging up and just see if any of them did not magnet. 
so we can see if any of them are sterling. And I'm just going to take a minute to look at a couple of these rings because maybe we'll test them too. This one's not marked. Uh, what else can we test quickly? What about this guy? That's pretty. That's a lot of prong set. That's what I wanted to say about these earrings too. Is that every tiny stone is prong set. So that has me so curious. Every one of them is prong set. And are these prong set or are they just looking? No, they're prong set. I see some like coppery color, but it is marked. And it says 14K. I don't know. I have my doubts about this one, but it would be nice if it was because it's pretty hefty, but the coppery color has me wondering about that, but that would be great if it was. Okay, anything else I can grab quickly to test? I think we'll deal with that. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Get out my stone. And we will start with this big ring that says it's 14K. We did this already? Oh, look at that. So I don't even have to bother the ring because we already know. 14 karat ring would not do that and it wouldn't look sort of coppery inside. So we just have a beautiful ring. We'll test the stones in another episode. Um, that's a faker. Ooh, you are a faker. So what I'm gonna say is that it's magnetic. And I'll put that tag on there for now. That way I won't, I mean, I'm not going to mistake this ring because it's so unique, but we'll remember that as we're going through. How about this pin? Maybe we should check that. No, it's magnetic. Okay. All right, we've got this cat. We'll do a little test on that. I would think it would say 925, but... I hate to bother jewelry, so I'm sorry that I'm going back and forth. Let's see what happens on this. Hmm. Yeah, that's not... It's, it's probably sterling plated, but it's not sterling. You can tell by how it's looking a brownish color. So I don't want to upset that pendant any more than that. This ring says, this is the one that said filled, right? Super filled, G-A-Y. All right, we're going to see. If it's silver filled, that would mean that it's not silver in the middle. But it looks silver in the middle, so let's try that one there. This one, I can't see any marks. See what it does. Just for funsies before we go. Take a peek. Hmm. Nothing under it telling me it's anything different. And then our heart pendant. Oh, well, that's different. It's not coming off like smoothly like sterling wood. So I'm going to say that's probably not. I think I see a little copper underneath. And this piece is probably the same. It's probably silver over copper. Yeah, because I can see the copper. What did we decide about you? We'll test you. For the funsies. I'm thinking not. finish up what we started. This is an oldie. Oh yeah, that's over copper. And this one was magnetic except for the clasp, so someone might have put a new one on. So we'll test the clasp and see what we got. 
here. Someone could be faking it with the clasp to make us think the whole bracelet was silver. Or they changed the clasp. This one looks, looks like it might be. So that's that one. I'm not gonna bother this. I mean, that's it's really marked in there very professionally, very deeply in the ring. Maybe I can give you a picture of it. I hope I can because it's so beautiful. Is it focusing on the marks? Let me move this. Oh, I can't move that. Well, hopefully you can see those marks in there. They're very deeply set in. After I move my stone and all this jewelry, we'll look at that again. So, I'm going to come over this way because I moved the camera. All right, let's get out our 18K and see what we got. We can finish up. So, we got that ring, that ring. These I already know aren't, but you never know. Okay. So this one's surprising me because that is saying that it's silver. This one that says it's filled, it's not terribly blue. This one. So no on these, no on this. This one is strange. This one's turning blue. This one I don't know. I think we're going to go with this saying it's filled. I could try a little bit more, but I know how I hate to mess with a piece of jewelry. Silver filled, what would be on the inside? This guy, we'll test it with a little bit of the like 14k just in case it is a white gold ring. And this one, okay, I know why that's doing that because it's sterling plated. So, this is what I mean when I say when someone tests for sterling to just do a quick um, test of the metal on the stone, you're gonna think it's sterling silver. But if you look in the loop and you look deeper in, you see copper color or anything, and there's no mark on it saying it's sterling, then it's just the sterling plating, which that one's very nicely plated. So enough of that, let's retest what's called silver plated. I mean, silver filled. I don't know, that's turning very blue. And I tested the same spot that I had before. Don't know why it says filled, but that's sterling silver all the way through. And this other one, we're going to try 14K. I'd have to fire up Miss Prissy because. Also, with the metal, we want to know what kind of stone it is because that might help us determine the metal. So nothing on the 14K. It's kind of going away. And that's turning very, very blue. Wow, okay. So it's sterling and sterling. Take my little tags. Put stir with a check mark. means I checked it, tested it. And it is sterling. And then we'll check the stones in another next episode. So stay tuned so you can see what happens with the pieces. Sterling with a check mark. Sterling, and I tested it. Now, off video, I'll put some tags on these that say they're not sterling, but just thought I would show you the process on that. Okay, well, that was fun. Oh, so wait a minute. The clasp on that bracelet 
that said 925 isn't isn't real either. Just remember that. Let's see. Put the towel. Let's get this really clean. And see if this is a faker. That'd be really like yeah, I guess they would have done that to make us think the whole thing was sterling. I'm just not making a lot of noise. My tags are sticking to me. All right, you're going to have one more try there, buddy. Tell us if you're a faker. Yeah, it turned really blue for a split second and disappeared, so... This is not, not 925. So that one's done. And this is part of all this unboxing, is all this work that we do with testing and labeling and figuring things out. Hey, maybe we should do this, somehow test this a little bit while we're here. See what happens because either this is a designer that's really making this look so expensive. I think that's definitely copper underneath. So this is probably like a gold over copper. So we know that one now. That's that. And a few things left on the plate on our paper plate that we were doing before. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this ring. Okay, this is what I was gonna do. Try to show you this a little bit closer and why I do trust these marks because for one, I'm keeping this ring. And for two, I just can trust them because they are definitely, you can tell there's time that's gone by on those marks. And look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Really loving it. So over here it says 925 in that little cartouche area. You're probably seeing it really well and I'm thinking that you're not, but Sherry has a brand new baby. And it's adjustable. Can, okay, this has everything, everything. It's a precious metal. I don't have to worry about it turning. It's adjustable. It fits me. That's beautiful. Amazing. Okay, we've got tons of pendants and brooches and things to see as the videos progress. I'm not going to take your time on these because they all stuck to the magnet so it's not like we're going to untangle and then find a precious metal so that's that for that one we have loads of stuff to go through i think i already have my thumbnail so we're good that's it i'm going to sign off now and get ready to do some more unboxing and show you what's in that box so i can't thank you enough for hanging out with me for this untangling video Please say your prayers that we find that stone. And hey, we'll see you next time at the Bobbles.